Hi, my name's Andy and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this first episode, I'm going to be introducing you to the car before we dive into some fabrication and some build lapses. If you follow me over here from my Instagram account, you'll already know a little bit about the car. It's a B5 Audi S4 in Nagaro Blue with a few changes. I'll cover that now. If you're not already familiar with the car, there's quite a few things that makes this car unique from other Audi S4s. We'll start off at the business end. Now, here we've got a Saab B204 turbo engine. This is one of two engines that I have. I do have a 234, which is a 2.3 litre version of this engine. This one is currently the 2 litre. Um, the 2.3 is going to get built later on. Um, that has a Holset turbo bolted to it. The turbo is a Holset HX40. Now the hot side is slightly different. It's a Turbo Labs of America turbine housing. It's a 0.82 AR, externally waste gated. The gearbox is a six speed from a BMW 123D. At the back of the car, I've modified the standard S4 rear subframe, but it has got a R200 rear diff from a, from a Nissan S14. This setup uses modified cups in the diff to allow for standard S4 drive shafts. I'm not too sure how much power they can take, but we'll find out. This is the part that I'm going to continue on with today. It's the intake which I have made from a bit of 4 inch aluminium tubing which will fit directly to the turbo there. If I get the, uh, the other bits this part here we'll go somewhere around here and the filter will be there. Got to clean this up, take off all this white powder coat and uh, take it up. Now that they're all cleaned up, it's time to get out of the TIG. Bye. 
So it's a few days later and truth be told I had a nightmare welding this up the other night. Start off badly, rookie mistake, didn't turn the gas on. Straight away, that ruined one of the pie cuts, got too hot, blew straight through, that's scrap. So I'm going to have to make another one of those. And the, the spun cone on here that fits the air filter, slightly smaller diameter than the pipe that I had. So there was a little bit of a gap and trying to bridge that didn't go particularly well for me. The aluminium is very thin. Um, I'm not a fabricator. It, TIG is something that I've only recently started doing, self-taught, so um, I'm not the best. I can normally put out something half decent like that. Again, this is fairly thin aluminium and you can see the inside weld isn't too bad. Um, I've gone a little bit hot on that, or maybe a little bit slow, but they look okay. It's only the inlet to the turbo, so it's not too critical. I will get a die grinder on some of these uh, larger lumps and clean them all out. But this one, painful to look at. I'll clean it up and uh, make the best of what I can. I expect one day, like a lot of things on the car, once I get a bit more proficient with it, I'll end up redoing it. One of the reasons why this has taken eight years to get to where it is. You progress and uh, and every time I look back on work that I've done a month ago, six months ago, a year, two years, however long it is, I look back and I don't think I could do that better. So I end up remaking it and it's taken its time. But hopefully there'll be a better car for it. So first things first, make a new one of these. Well tonight doesn't seem to be going much better either. So just setting up the camera, little GoPro SJ4000. Set up the camera for a shot. And then go. Please insert card. Car's not here, it's at the office. Tremendous. So, I'll be using this camera to film. Uh, doesn't have a wide angle lens, um, not the end of the world. But, battery might be an issue. Um, and, and storage, actually. This car's not massive. We'll see. We'll see what I can get. We have a nice pie cut. Just got to clean off the powder coat and uh, get that ready for welding. Just like I said would happen battery ran out, just nipped inside, got a new one. Right, that's all cleaned up. I've uh, run it over some sandpaper, got all the birds off, 
Uh, so it's nice and flat, ready for welding. Um, this is the part that I need to weld up. Orientation is something like something like that. Hopefully, I'll have a better evening on the TIG. But with the way things are going tonight, I don't hold out much hope. We'll see. It's not the best in the world, but I've probably bought worse, I'll be honest. I've played around with the settings, I've uh, raised the hertz considerably higher, I've gone to triangular wave, there's a few tip videos online that shows you how to weld thin tubing. I'll be honest, I did try it previously before I started all this and I didn't really get on with the settings but I had another quick play with it earlier and it seemed a lot better. I think I do have an issue with the machine. I don't know if you can hear it when I'm firing up. The arc isn't very stable to begin with and then as it puddles it stabilises. Um, it seems to only do that at high hertz. Uh, lower hertz seem to be a lot more stable. Unfortunately with all that playing around with the machine Time has got on. It's almost 10 o'clock already. I think I'll end the video here for now. Maybe I'll catch up in another episode or maybe I'll, uh, I'll continue later, I don't know. I expect one day, like a lot of things on the car, once I get a bit more proficient with it, I'll end up redoing it. So as you saw the other night, impatience got the better of me and I cut the end of the cone off and uh, and remade it. Decided not to film, didn't want to bore you with that. Um, I'll cut to a few shots of the, uh, the finished item. As you can see, I've painted it black, um, that'll do for now. I'll probably get it powder coated at a later date once I've uh, made a few other things, but I just wanted to throw some paint on there, um, probably just to hide some of the nasty welds on there, I'll be honest. If you've liked what you've seen in this first video, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. See you later.